that so Stoops was a coach for a couple hours in theory, right? Yeah. So let's 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 pivot there to Texas A and M. Who What's his, what, what what will his buyout be? Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, he's got the same amount of division titles as Jimbo Fisher while he was the head coach yeah. at Texas A and M. So they've 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 kind of all got it lined up. But what a bizarre situation that we had in the coaching carousel world, which you never think would get that biz- any more bizarre than it already has. But this was happening around midnight, Paul. I'm getting ready to do college football final. There are reports that the deal is in place to make Mark Stoops, Kentucky. All of this was going down. And then an hour later, after a, an alleged fan revolt, I didn't I didn't see all of it. Texas A&M and Mark Stoops agreed that this deal wasn't going to be consummated. Oh, and no, now, no, no. I read Mark Stoops that after the Louisville celebration, he he couldn't dare leave Kentucky. Mm, that was yeah. a statement. On, you, were, you, you read that on Twitter. Oh, you? yeah, I definitely read the statement that, that okay. Kentucky is his home and where he wants to be. Oh, Kentucky home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, I mean, what 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 are we doing in College Station with this coaching search? Because now the movement appears to be the interim coach, Elijah Robinson, or now Mike Elko's name at Duke is bubbling up after the Mark Stoops thing went awry. Uh, the answer to your question is I don't know. Um, I just assumed that they had a good plan uh, when they got rid of Jimbo because I mean, they, they didn't fire Jimbo Today, which is when a lot of coaches get fired, they fired him, what, two weeks ago? Yeah. It seemed like, and I, I said right here with you that I, I'm assuming they already have somebody lined up. I, I My assumption was incorrect. <laughs> uh, so I I think they're, you know, what you have out there, you, you have a lot of really proud uh, people who have a piece of that program, and it's, it's a familiar story. Um, and cl- I, I haven't talked to Ross Bjork. Uh, I don't really know what his mindset is, but I'm sure he's trying to regroup because he, he he's the one that put has put a lot of things out there about what what we're not an eight and four program. Well, it, with Mark Stoops, Mark Stoops did a good job at Kentucky, but is that a, is that a, a preamble that he would do a good job at a higher profile, much more difficult job than Kentucky? He, he exceeded expectations at Kentucky, uh, but I, I I think I think. I think he's better off staying where he is, uh, but I don't really know what I don't know what these next couple of hours look like for for A and M Matt Matt. And and you know, and I've said this numerous times on here, Sports Center, whatever meeting we've been doing over the last ten years, that when when you fire a coach, I find this to be the most uh, accurate way to describe this decision. You had better make sure that the guy you're getting rid of, the one that's coming in better be better. You had better make sure that that next coach, you you need to have a plan in place. Who are you going to get? You need to be 100% certain the new coach is better than the one you just fired. And here we are with Texas A&M after the Mark Stoops debacle. Like what, what are they going to, they couldn't get Dan Lanning. They couldn't get Dan Campbell. They probably made a run at Dabo, Ryan Day, name the big sure. name. They went out. So you can't do that in this day. And you, are they going to get better? That's the question. You've got, a, you, uh, you've got a better coach on your staff right now than a lot of these people that we're talking about in Bobby Petrino. Right. Uh, and I, I'm not, I don't know what the deal on Petrino is anymore, but, but he is a, he is a proven head coach. I just, why does this always happen? Why do these firings happen? Well, because, co- because College coaching searches are are the most fascinating thing in the world because they're they're played in real time. This isn't like an executive search hiring uh, the next uh, CEO at Apple. Uh, the everybody's got an opinion. You got to you know you have, you have the structure, the president, the AD, and then you got all these other people, uh, and then you got the Twitter mob uh, who you know took a break from you for ten minutes last night to move over to A and M uh, and. Everybody's self-aware of what's happening, and I think there's a lot. And we watched this what five years ago at Tennessee with Jeremy Pruitt. Yeah, I mean, that's yep. a textbook case that should be studied for years. Greg Schiano was on the way to Knoxville, and the and, and the planes. Uh, the, the, I mean, he was about to board the plane. They said, "Hold, hold on a second. We we'll, we'll catch you later, Greg. You stay here in Columbus uh, and help Urban Meyer out and or Ryan Day, whatever it was at the time." And, uh, you know, we're going to, and by the way, they, they all, they were the AD, uh, that's a little known story. The AD was in LA meeting with Mike Leach a couple of days later. And, uh, he got, he got recalled by the chancellor. He was, he, he, he offered Leach the job. Leach told yeah. him. 
And the chancellor said, hey, before come come back immediately. He came back and got fired <laughs> because the, and they didn't want him hiring Mike Lee. And they, they hired Phil Fulmer, who hired uh, Jeremy Pruitt. I just, I, I don't know how this keeps happening. And I look, Jimbo Fisher had his faults at Texas A&M, and one of them was not living up to the money expectations that were placed upon him. But I mean, that's not that is that is is it his fault that they offered him that money and he took it? No, I just I never understand who you need to make sure there's someone out there better than your current situation. I don't know the Texas A&M. Well, what Ross, Ross Bjork said two weeks ago, he said we were stuck in neutral, and and that's not good enough. So where are they right now? Well, the I mean, kind of reverse after last night. <laughs> and they, they probably need to park the car, refuel it, or if you're an electric person, charge your car. Yeah. And uh, figure out what you're going to do next because this coaching search is already off. And by the way, the transfer portal opens next Sunday. Yeah, They're going to need a coach in the next week. They, need, uh, they Tom, need a coach today. Yeah, and we'll see what happens there. Tom Allen also fired at Indiana. That announced this morning. I, I suspect there will be more after we get done recording this podcast on the ESPN College Football YouTube channel. So that's that. That's everything that's happened kind of off the field. Give me something. Fun.